went wrong today? Uh, I just think that they just were no urgency to, to score. Uh, you just see that they were just very too confident, I would say. Just, you know, not, not really moving around very much, not trying to get in behind, not trying to, to get the goal. It was just kind of like they were happy with how West Ham was sitting back and I mean, they weren't trying to really penetrate very much to get the goal. Josh. Glad, glad to have you back. Been a while. You right, brother? What are you talking about? I was here last match. Yeah. <laughs> I seen, I don't, we, don't see, we don't see you a lot on the channel. It has been a busy end of the year for me. I right. could just so, imagine. Uh, but How yes. Been? Uh, you good? I'm, no, I'm good. Well, so I can stop <laughs> up today. Good as can be given the circumstances. Um, yeah. So, um, no, I think what I always say is it's not the losing that really bothers me. It's the way that we lose. The manner of the right? defeat. Yeah. Because it's like... If we really left it all on the field, right, and we're, we're putting ourselves out there, we're going for it forever, and then something goes against us, fine. You know, whatever. That's football, right? There is no I, – I, I keep going to say, well, the vibes are not right with this. There are no vibes with the team right now. It's like when you watch them play, it's a bunch of individuals running around. I don't see any team chemistry. I don't see any desire. It, it, it's just – Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, I just don't see any life I in the team, right? And and I just I don't I don't know what's causing it. I don't know how you fix it. But it's incredibly disheartening to wake up at six in the morning like we did today. I know, yeah. It's it, wait, six thirty kickoff, well, which is leaving so, has a five well, thirty in the morning. Well, Come well, on, what this piece of crap? Well, so what? It, you know what my thought was as I was watching this team today? As I said. They look like they were the ones that are at the bar at six in the morning. Yeah. I'm not enough sleep. Okay, yeah. like yeah. that's how I would play yeah. if I were playing right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but they're well rested. There, there's no excuse. No, I just no. I don't understand it. So, the funny thing was right. West Ham were not great. They were poor. No. They've been poor. They sat back. Didn't create enough chances. We create, but we can't score. We can't finish. We're that bad in front of goal. They get the few chances in the second half. And the game is done. It's just done. Yeah. It's like when we concede, it's like there's no chance of scoring a goal because we can't score. We can't yeah. create. Right. Well, it's like a hit and miss. Like let's hope it goes in. That's yeah. where we are. Well, and that's where I was actually just talking with Joe about. Is he said that one of the hallmarks of Manchester United used to be our mental toughness? Oh yeah. Right. This was uh, under Fergie and stuff like. Yeah. That. We were never beaten. Right. You could never count us out. No. Doesn't matter what was going. We could find a way to get yeah, back in the match. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel that with this squad. No. Uh, if we if we go down, it's like, well, you know, we, we, Joe was actually telling me, he's like, sometimes it almost seems like they're glad when they get scored upon because then they don't have any more responsibility. Like, oh, well, you know, game's away, so let's just get to the end of and stuff. So I, and then I was also thinking, like, I would love to know what is going through Marcus Rashford's mind whenever he wakes you saw up. The way, did you see when he coming on? No. He looked like a guy who they, they told to come, on, come in to work on your day off. Took his time, couldn't even get his, his tracksuit bottoms off. He just, just looked like, I, you know, if you want to rip it, shit, I need to get, I need to get on the field. But it's like, you know I can, in my, I'm not supposed to be in today, man. In, I, in you know all, of my, all of the football that I've watched in my life, I struggle to remember another player who I have seen decline so rapidly, rapidly <laughs> within the course of a year. I right? know, right? Because you, you, think, I you, know. you think about where what where we were last year. Mm -hmm. He was coming back from the World Cup. Yeah. And confidence level through the roof. Yep. Scoring, scoring, yeah. scoring, scoring, yeah. scoring, scoring, scoring. Now, he doesn't ever look like he's gonna score again. No. Uh, On three hundred and twenty five thousand pounds a week, which is three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars a week. This is what this is what you get for that. That is how much you're getting paid for that, mate, brother. Yeah. Have a nice Christmas, brother. See you on uh, Boxing Day. Yeah. So no, that, that, that's what I'm saying. At, at this point, there just there isn't any life in anyone, you know. And I just uh, I, I just don't understand it, and I don't know how you fix it, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you both a question. Are you still in support of Eric Ten Hag? Uh, yeah, I am. I mean. I think regardless of what manager we bring in right now at this point, it, it's, it's been the same thing for years with all the other managers we've had. So I just think it's time to, to kind of ship some players out and bring some, some new players in or, or start getting these youngsters, you know, they're, 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 they're due in their time and getting them, some, uh, getting them some reps because uh, yeah, these last several years, I mean, this is 
about where we've been. I mean, we had the, the second place finish with Mourinho, but other than that, I mean, we've, we've been fourth, sixth around that, that point, around this point. So uh, at this point, I don't think a manager can really change anything. Can change anything. I mean, it's got to be just a, a new shipment of players or, or these youngsters, like, you know, coming in. Wow. Harry Ten Hawks are both still yes or no? Yeah, no. I, again, I, I think... In modern football, we've become too quick to be calling for the manager's head. And again, what I always say is, go back to Fergie. All right, what happened during Sir Alex Ferguson's? He was not a sir. At 80, that point, 89, right? 90, okay. 90, He was about to be fired. All right, he was he was about to get sacked. Right, uh, so you, his first few seasons at United we were rocky, very rough, very rough. We right? battled relegation 89, 90 season. We came fifth to the bottom. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, so, it's hard to comprehend, but we was bad. Right, yeah. so that's why I'm saying, like, okay, development in football takes time. Yeah, uh, so we. we I know that everyone wants instant success these days and stuff. And mm. um, Patience is thin. But, but, again, going back to his point, which is well made, you also have to ask, what, okay, maybe you're dissatisfied, but what is the alternative? Right? Uh, because, again, we, 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 we've had some of the best managers in the world at this point. We've had Jose Mourinho. Uh, Louis, Louis Van Gaal. Uh, all of these kinds of it. And so... Nobody has been able to been able to, and so we saw glimpses of that last season. And, and, and we thought we're gonna kick on. Yeah. So, um, but that being said, I mean, I think Tin Hog. We've seen what he's capable of at IX. We saw what he was capable of last year. Um, I do think, um, and this is why whenever I, I always felt that Ole managed off of vibes. You know, yeah. the players liked him. He was former player. That they, they showed the true colors, right? But. <laughs> But ultimately, he wasn't actually a tactician. No, he wasn't a, a real manager. No. Right? He was kind of your your best friend. Your best friend. Um, and mm-hmm. that's why, after that initial period, you know, they not. showed the true colors. Right. So, whereas with Tin Hag, I don't know that anybody. I don't know that Tin Hag is going to be anybody's best friend. Quite the opposite, uh, as Sancho and these other. Oh yeah. Tell you. yeah. Um, I do still think he has the football in mind that's necessary, um, but. Man management, keeping the locker room is another part you of it as well, and I'm I am starting to I am starting to doubt that now. However, it's still too early to immediately go. I say he needs to at least we need to let him finish out the season, and then we reevaluate at that time. Right. Um, I would say that if we go in, you know, if this continues and we end up, you know, Me mid table. bottom table, Got then I think it's time to go and look for something else. Um, but I would still say we mustn't be too rash, and if we're calling for his head, who's the next one? Who's available that is going to do better? Exactly my point. Now, Aston Villa, Boxing Day on Tuesday, Old Trafford, title chasers, title leaders, they're leading the table to a point, they're fighting, they beat Man City and Arsenal in the space of three days, they are coming on Tuesday. What do you think United can do, and what is your prediction score, please? Uh, whew, I don't know. Watching Ashton Villa play Sheffield, you know, yesterday, yesterday they, fought. And, and they didn't give up. Yeah, it, exactly. You know, they were down one zero, but they kept pushing. They kept pushing. They kept pushing. So, uh, you're you're definitely getting a. Uh, I mean, with Unai Emery, you're definitely getting a team that feels confident. Um, so you're definitely getting that that coming in, um, which is scary because you know our confidence level right now is is not not there. So you know they're def- they're definitely so again you know. Not, not very many teams are scared to come in Old Trafford anymore. And just to get a that's, result. So, that, that's been done a long time. Yeah, so, so definitely you're going to have a team that's coming in with full confidence and saying, hey, like, this is our chance to get top of the table, so we'll stay at the top of the table, you know, get a result out of here. So, I don't know, it's, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot out of that game for us to, to get a draw or at least a result. <laughs> but, see, but, but, that, but that's the weird thing about this team is that uh, we show up against Liverpool, right? Not that, not that it was a fantastic match. We had the chances. Of, we we had the chances. We did. We couldn't finish. Right. This is the problem. We yep. can't score. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, you think about even even today, Garnacho should have finished that that opportunity. Uh, uh, he finishes that, the whole game changes. No, yeah, yeah, changes. Yeah, no, yeah, sure yeah, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, when you're not scoring, you can't win. You yeah. got to score to win. Yeah. So, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like, even with something like when you look at uh, again going back to Rashford. Look at his goal production last season versus now. He's the same. He's the same person, right? There's something going on in his head, something. But it's like if you could somehow just find a way to 
It's like he's down tools altogether. No, I don't. I don't know. But what I'm saying is that like the possibilities are there, right? And it's just it's just a matter of how you extract it. And I don't. I just don't. It's not there right now. So you predict? Are we? Can we beat Villa? Are we gonna? What's you? I need to get me a score. I need a score. Or is what you think? Well, I'm gonna get hammered at Old Trafford. Well, unfortunately, I I feel like at this, at this point, given our lack of production, the best that we can hope for is a nil nil draw. Uh, I mean, against Liverpool, that was literally the ideal, and we got it. Wow. So um, I'm going I'm going one nil. It's either us or them one nil. Because again, I think that we're gonna sit in that that we're kind of low block. I, I just I just don't see us scoring right now unless we get a penalty. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's where we are. That is where we are. Unfortunately, on this situation, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I appreciate you guys for joining and supporting the channel. Another, on another sad day where United have got results at Anfield, two steps forward, three steps back. We're going to Aston Villa. Aston Villa come to Old Trafford on Tuesday, Boxing Day, day after Christmas. I doubt if we're going to have any Christmas presents on that day, but... Um, well, it is what it is. Who knows? Maybe uh, what do you call it? Father Christmas? Uh, <laughs> Santa Claus can bring us bring us some luck. Right. Yeah, so, right. yeah. so okay. Right from all of us, glory, glory, man, united. united. See you guys on the next one. All right. Well,